Cisco and Munoz, the man who has orchestrated their rise again. Watford, like Norwich, have risen again. Yeah, joy for Birmingham and joy for Watford. No more, again, than Watford deserves. Cisco Munoz, what a, a coaching appointment that has proved to be. A change in shape to 4-3-3 has paid dividends and they fully deserve to get back to the Premier League. So Watford have been promoted. Ismail Assar holding his nerve to slam home a penalty at Vicarage Road. Scott Duxby, the chairman there. Gina Pozzo, the owner of Watford. They can plan for the Premier League again because they are back up. And Cisco Munoz almost in tears. He'll have to sing a song with David Craig now, by the way. <laughs> that may soon take the smile off his face. But Watford are promoted. They've beaten Millwall by a goal to nil plenty of football still to come your way there is a huge game coming up on Sky Sports main event from the east end it's West Ham against Chelsea the fight for the Champions League places that is next on main event next up on Sky Sports football all of the reaction from Pride Park and elsewhere in the championship A job Cisco Munoz has done out of the 23 championship matches he's taken charge of. Watford have won 17. A truly awesome return back to the Premier League. And the celebrations will go on long into the night. Very well deserved, much deserved, you've got to say, over the course of the season. Yes, teams come down. Yes, there's pressure to get themselves right back. Not as easy as you think. Sam Saunders, Simon Francis alongside me here. Lovely scenes here, Simon. And what a job that man has done there. Phenomenal job. I mean, great scenes to see. Look how emotional it is for him. First job in England, of course. And, and since he walked through the door, he brought that positivity, really good energy about him. And I speak to Dan Gosling a lot, obviously left Bournemouth to go to Watford. And he says his English is coming on. It's still not great at the moment. And, and training sessions can sometimes be tough, but they've got such a good dressing room, he said. At times, they've had to manage themselves. You know, they're, they're chopping and changing of the managers that they have at Watford. But they've got a really good bunch there. And we've seen that even since he walked through the door, the change of formation Sam spoke about suit them down to, to a tee. Got some great attacking players and, and fully deserved. Well, as Simon was saying, Sam, his first job in English football, only his second job as head coach. He's well loved, quite obviously, there. And the job that he's done with that group of players in Perry. Bournemouth go up as well and join them but at the time when he left he, was, he, he showed a bit of frustration of course because he wasn't getting enough game time to then go to Watford another promotion contender he was delighted to get that chance it's obviously paid off for him um, 
really pleased with I'm sure I'll catch you later over a few beers <laughs> yeah it might be a few sheets of the wind by then as well uh, given what we've seen from this team um, I always when we talk about Ishmael Assar I, I always mention the fact that he costs 40 million pounds yes that's I mean that's an arbitrary thing it, nobody asked for what a price tag is but it was so key wasn't it Sam that they kept a player of that magnitude who deservedly gets another crack at the Premier League yeah um, it was a few Premier League clubs that wanted to come in for him in a well, Liverpool a, was one that exactly, was booted at the beginning of the season and again in January but Watford stood firm they understood the importance <laughs> of particularly his pace in the Championship which which has blown some defenders away this season but I think Cisco Mooney is one of the best things that he did with Troy Deeney not being available to play um, get him in almost as a semi-coach kind of thing to get him in around and get that team spirit of what you can see they've got there was a, was a master stroke um, <laughs> you, you see the results they've been so consistent since he's gone in picking up wins all along the way and they say they do, do deserve to go up automatically alongside Norwich it's a fantastic combination of different players that they've got Nathaniel Chalaba there to hugging his manager you look at the likes of Feminia, Messina, Trusta Kong, Sirialt has really come to the fore defensively, hasn't he, over the course of the second half of the season? But with Tom Cleverley and Will Hughes and Dan Goslin, that real British core that's managed to see them over the line, Sam. Yeah, we talk about a blend within squads that are, that are going to be successful, especially to get out of the Championship, and I think you need a bit of everything. Interesting you say that, the, the English boys in there, because often they will bring in foreign players, mm. sometimes that we haven't heard of, and especially with the managers as well, that can be the case. But they have got that core in there. Chalabar and Cleverley have been excellent throughout the season. Dan Gosling adding to that at times, of course. And then your, your match winners in your Sar and Jao Pedro, boys who have really only tasted English football for a year or two. So for them to come in and show the, the great attitude that they have, credit to them, credit to the manager who's got them on side and got them in with that belief for them to be promoted in this unique season that we're seeing again with no fans and it certainly deserves that today for from a Watford perspective but um, as we've always said recently fully deserved a lot of experience in this team knowing what it's like to get back into the top division Simon what does that feel like knowing that next season you've got all the big boys coming your way it's brilliant um, yeah I mean they've got the experience of being there before perhaps so that they'll know what to expect hopefully they'll be in four one is four round are they going to be able to stay there this time do you think well that's the question we spoke about Norwich didn't we the other day when, when, they, when they played and went up and they feel like they're in a better position than when they were, first went up they've got players who've got the experience I think keeping hold of those players is going to be mm. key you'd like to think they can they can keep Saar for at least one season Jao Pedro as well but they're still very young they're going to have to bring in more players of experience still build on that squad depending on what happens with uh, Troy Deeney as well so it'll be an interesting one I think they've got a lot of legs in their team they've got a lot of pace and power which when you go into the Premier League if you look at Fulham and what they did in January added a lot of pace and power into their squad and their results have picked up as a matter of that so I think they've already got that in their team and along, along with the experienced campaigners that we've just mentioned, I think they've got a nice blend now, which will serve them well going into the Premiership. Of course, you need to make additions. The, the, the gulf between the Championship and the Premiership is, is there for everyone to see. But one thing they have got, they have got a bit of pace in their team that can hurt teams and scare teams. We're going to get more reaction from Vicarage Road as the celebrations, quite rightly and deservedly, continue.